Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Botet and today I'm going to be presenting the baseline paper Measuring the Stability of Feature Selection Techniques on Real World Software Datasets uh, written by uh, Wang Yang, uh, Wang uh, uh, Dr. K and Random Wall. So the outline of the presentation will be, uh, we're going to cover the introduction, then the related words, uh, the feature uh, ranking techniques evaluated in this paper, uh, the experimental design used, uh, the case study data um, used in the, in the experiment, the results, and then the conclusion. Introduction. Uh, available software quality prediction data sets often include redundant and irrelevant software metrics attributes. Using all available software metrics, including the redundant ones, affect the full prediction of models. So in software defect prediction problems, the identification and selection of relevant metrics from a, from a metric dataset is very important. The identification uh, and selection process is called feature or metric selection. Feature selection is a critical component in data mining or machine learning pre-processing. Many feature selection methods have been proposed in the data mining and software engineering domains. One common way to evaluate uh, a feature selection method is the performance of a, of a chosen classifier uh, trained on the selected features. The classification perform performance shows the effecti effectiveness of the feature selection technique used to identify uh, the most relevant metrics. Another way to evaluate a feature selection technique is robustness or stability, which has been which has received less attention in previous researches. Stability is an important aspect of the feature selection techniques because by choosing the most stable feature rankers, software practitioners can be confident that the selected features represent actual properties of the underlying that data and are not subject to random change based on minor changes in the data. Few studies exist on the stability of feature selection algorithms. This study, uh, the study in the, in the baseline paper, evaluates the stability performance of eight different, uh, 18 different um, feature selection techniques. The main contribution of the baseline paper research is that the stability of feature selection techniques is considered by comparing the selected features before and after some instances are deleted from the dataset, rather than directly uh, comparing separate subsamples of the original dataset. This is an important distinction because in many real-world situations, software practitioners want to know whether adding uh, additional instances to the dataset will change the result of feature selection. Related works. The main goal of feature selection is to select a subset of features that exclude features which are not useful uh, for predicting the class or that contain information already found in other features. Feature selection techniques can be classified as feature ranking or feature subset selection. Feature ranking uh, source the attributes according to the individual predictive power, while feature subject selection finds the subset of attributes that collectively have a good predictive power. In the following slide uh, of related words, in the, in the area of software quality prediction uh, will be covered and also uh, related words in the area of uh, the stability of feature selection methods. So related words in the area of software quality. Feature selection has been widely applied in many application domains, but it, its application in software quality and re, in reliability engineering domain is limited. Work in the finding um, in the paper finding the right data for software cost modeling studied the applications of uh, wrapper-based feature selection in the context of software cost and effort estimation. They concluded that the reduced data set improved the estimation. Another uh, article in the area 
titled uh, Detecting Fault Modules, Applying Feature Selections to Classifiers, Applied Attribute Selection with three uh, filter uh, models and two wrappers models uh, to five software engineering datasets using the Weka tool. All techniques were uh, feature subject selection and not ranking techniques. The research concluded that the wrapper model was better than the filter model. However, it came at a high computational cost. Another paper, uh, this time from uh, Professor Taggy research team, titled Choosing Software Metrics uh, for Defect Prediction and Investigation on Feature Selection Techniques, considered uh, a hybrid approach using a filter-based ranking technique to first reduce the size of the feature space and then a filter-based subset evaluation technique to choose the final feature set. They found that this hybrid approach uh, greatly improved the speed of the modeling process while producing results similar to uh, using the subset of an evaluation technique alone. So related words in the area of stability of feature selection. The stability of a feature selection method is usually defined as the degree of agreement between its output to random selected subsets of the same input data. Recent work in this area mainly focuses on uh, consistency of the output uh, by measuring the various the variations between uh, subsets of feature obtained from different subsamples of the original training set. Some of the related work in the area, like the paper, the paper titled um, Robust Feature Selections Using Ensemble Feature Selection Techniques, used the Spearman um, ranks uh, correlation coefficient to find the more stable feature selection method. Another article in the area of the research of the baseline paper with the title of Robust Biomakers, Biomarkers Identification for Cancer Diagnostic and ensemble feature selection methods studied the process for uh, selecting biomarkers from a microarray micro array of data and presented a general framework uh, for stability analysis of such feature selection techniques. The article titled uh, Measuring Stability of Feature Selection by Biomedical Datasets uh, also um, devised a new stability measure called uh, adjust the stability measure that can actually uh, be applied to classifier based feature selecting methods. And lastly, uh, the paper titled uh, Stability of Feature Selection Algorithms, a study on high dimensional spaces. Use the different measuring of correlation to measure the stability of features uh, rankers. The work of the baseline paper that I'm presenting like the works uh, cited, uh, considers the stability in terms of the difference in feature subset uh, selected before and after instances are removed from the dataset. Rather than comparing multiple reduced uh, subsamples of each other, this allows the research team to uh, more closely simulate the use case of determining uh, which feature subset will remain. Uh, appropriate even after the instances are, are added to the dataset. To assess the robustness and of uh, feature selection techniques, uh, the previously mentioned works use different similarity measures such as um, Hamming distance, uh, correlation coefficient, consistency index, and entropy. Among these four uh, similarity measures, consistency is index is the only one which takes into consideration uh, bias due to chance. Because of this, in the baseline paper work, uh, the consistency indexes, uh, index was used uh, as the stability major, measure. The consistency, consistency index uh, is a measure of similarity between two different feature subsets. It is the metric used to evaluate whether a given ranker is stable even in the face of additions of, or deletions of instances from the database. 
uh, filter-based uh, feature ranking techniques. Filter-based uh, feature ranking techniques uh, rank features independently without involving any learning algorithm. Feature uh, ranking uh, consists of scoring each feature uh, according to a particular method, then selecting the features based on their scores. The baseline paper used 18 feature ranking techniques, which are mainly from three categories. Six commonly used feature ranking techniques, 11 threshold-based uh, feature selection techniques that were developed, developed uh, by the research team of the baseline paper, and a new filter technique called signal-to-noise, S2N. Uh, table one, as you can see, contains all the feature selection techniques used and their uh, abbreviations. The following feature ranking tech methods uh, are commonly used, uh, so I'm going to provide a brief summary of each of them. First, chi square test, uh, which is used to examine if there is no uh, association between two attributes to determine whether the two variables are independent. Chi-squared is more uh, likely to find significance uh, if, first, the relation is strong, or second, the sample size is large, or uh, the number of values of the two associated uh, features is large. Next, uh, information gain, uh, gain ratio, and symmetrical uncertainty. Uh, there are measures based on the concept of entropy, which is based on the information theory. Information gain uh, is the information provided about the target class attribute, given the value of an, in, of an independent attribute. Information gain measures the decrease of weighted average impurity of the partition based on the attribute compared to the impurity of the complete set of data. A drawback of information gain is that it tends to prefer attributes with a larger number of positive values. So if one attribute, if one attribute has a, a large number of values, it will appear to gain more information than those with fewer values, even if it's not uh, more informative. One strategy to counter this problem is to use a gain ratio. Gain ratio uh, penalizes uh, multiple values attributes. Symmetrical uncertainty is another way to uh, overcome the problem of information gain bias towards attributes with more values by dividing the information gain by the sum of the entropies of the independent attributes. Another commonly used feature ranking technique is relief which uh, measures uh, how much the feature values uh, changes when comparing uh, an instance to its nearest same class and different class neighbors. Relief F uh, is an uh, extension of, of the relief uh, algorithms that can uh, handle noise and multiple class datasets. When the weight of the nearest neighbor by the distance is not taken into account, the algorithm, the algorithm is called Relief F. When it is taken into account, the, uh, the algorithm is called Relief FW. Lastly, uh, signal to noise, which is a, a measure used in electrical engineering to uh, qualify how much a signal has been corrupted by noise. It is defined as the ratio of signal power uh, to the noise power cor corrupting the signal. Signal to noise, or S2N, uh, can be used as feature ranking method for a binary class problem. Signal to noise favors favors uh, attributes with the range of expression uh, vector is large, but where most of the variation is due to the class distribution. Experimental design. The test of stability of different feature selection techniques under different sequences. The research team uh, performed uh, a case study on 16 different uh, so, uh, software metrics datasets using 18 uh, feature selection techniques, four different uh, levels of uh, change in the datasets, and uh, nine different numbers of chosen features. 
the details of the data set used in, in, on, and the result will be covered in the following slides. So the case study data. The study used uh, software metrics and fault data collected from real-world software projects, including a very large telecommunication software system, LLTS, the Eclipse project, and a NASA software project, KC1. These are all binary class datasets where uh, each instance uh, of the assign uh, is assigned one or two class labels. In this case, fault prone and not fault prone. The software measure dataset LLTS contains data from four consecutive releases, which are labeled as uh, SP1, service, service pack SP1, SP2, SP3, and SP4. Metrics including 24 product metrics, uh, 14 process metrics, and four execution metrics. The dependent variable uh, is the class program module, fault prone or not fault prone. A program module with one or more faults is considered fault prone and not fault prone otherwise. The metric defects data uh, at the software package level of the Eclipse uh, defects counts. Complexity metric data set is, was used. The original data for the Eclipse packages consisted uh, of three releases denoted, denoted as a uh, 2.0, 2.1, and 3.0, respectively. The original data was transformed by removing all the non-numeric attributes, uh, including uh, the packages' names, and converting the post-release defects attribute to a binary class attribute, for prone and not for prone. Uh, membership in the class is determined by a post-release defects threshold, which separates for prone and not for prone packages. Different thresholds were used in order to have datasets with different uh, levels of class imbalance. All nine uh, derived datasets contain uh, 208 independent attributes. Releases 2.0, 2.1, and 3.0 contain 377, 4, 434, and 661 instances, respectively. Lastly, uh, the NASA project KC1 which uh, originally included uh, 145 instances containing 94 independent attributes each. Three different thresholds were used to define uh, defective instances. The three datasets are uh, named uh, KC120, KC110, and KC15. Uh, the dash and the number correspond to the threshold. So in the first one, 20 was the threshold uh, to qualify as uh, fault prone. Uh, uh, more than 20 faults, uh, more than 10 in the second, and more than five. Uh, the 16 original data set used in the work uh, reflects software projects for different sizes with different proportion of four prone and not four prone modules. Table two, as you can see, uh, lists the characteristics of the 16 data sets. The results. Uh, data perturbation uh, was performed to the datasets where smaller datasets were generated by keeping a fraction C of the instances uh, and randomly re removing 1 minus C, the instances from the original data. In this study, uh, C was set to uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.95, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and 2 thirds. And they obtained uh, 30 datasets for each original dataset. The number of features uh, that is retained for each subset, uh, for each data set are uh, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10, as you can see in the in the each of the columns in the two pictures here. Uh, the average stability was computed for each, uh, each pair of original data sets and one of 30 repetitions of perturbation. So the average stability of the 16 data sets can be computed. The table summarizes uh, the uh, results of the ro robustness analysis of each ranker, uh, with each table holding a perturbation level constant and showing the results uh, of all feature rankers and, and a number of selected features separately, average across, across the 16 datasets. 
each cell shows uh, the average value uh, for the 30 repetitions of each of the 16 uh, data sets uh, using the specific perturbation level. With the feature ranker and the number selection uh, of feature uh, base on the exact uh, row and column where the cell is located. The top value for each level uh, of feature is in bold. As you can see in the picture, uh, the bold value is the, uh, the best performing one. The results in these tables are very similar to the results in the previous uh, two tables. And from them, we can con conclude that uh, among the 18 rankers, uh, gain ratio shows the least stability on average, uh, while uh, relief F uh, shows uh, more stability when, um, when, two, when two to five features are selected at the columns. And the area under the precision recall curve has the most stability when more than six features uh, are selected. The size of the feature subset uh, can influence the stability of the features uh, ranking technique, which is improved by increasing the number of features uh, in the selected subset in most cases. Uh, as you can see in the picture, uh, the, the values uh, become better with, with uh, more uh, features selected when the, the number of in the column uh, increases. Uh, the results of the ANOVA analysis, uh, the analysis of variance uh, F-test was performed uh, to stat statistically examine the robustness or stability of the feature selection technique. An N-way ANOVA is used to determine if the, the, the means uh, in a set of data differs when the group by multiple factors. The ANOVA model shows uh, only one factor, which is factor A in which the 18 rankers were considered. In the ANOVA test, uh, the results from all 16 uh, data sets with 95% perturbation level uh, were taken into account together. The p-value of factor A is zero, uh, which indicates that there was a significant difference between the average stability values and the 18 rankers. The pairwise comparison test uh, for the main factor to find which pairs uh, of means are significant, significantly different from each other uh, with 95% confidence level are shown in the image. As learning class, uh, two means are significantly different if they different if the interval, intervals uh, do not overlap or are di disjoint, and they are not significantly different if the intervals overlap. Uh, the baseline paper research team used MATLAB to perform the ANOVA and multiple comparisons and uh, the assumptions for constructing the ANOVA models were valid validated. The results showed that factor A, uh, gain ratio and uh, symmetric uncertainty performed significantly uh, worse amongst the 18 rankers and relief F and uh, relief W performed best followed by uh, area under, the, call, un, under the, the precision recall curve and area under the ROC curve. Same results as in the previous slides. So um, the effects of the degree of uh, data set perturbation on the stability of feature ranking techniques across the, all the 16 data sets and nine feature subsets uh, is shown in figure one in the image. Uh, the more uh, instances retained in the, in the data set, or in other words, uh, the fewer instances deleted from the ori original data set, the more stable the feature ranking on that data set is. So conclusion. Uh, the study con conducted a uh, robustness or stability analysis on 18 feature selection techniques 16 data sets uh, from three real world uh, software projects were used uh, with different levels of class imbalance. The results showed that the gain ratio and uh, symmetric uncertainty performed significantly uh, worse among the 18 rankers, and Relief F and Relief FW performed best. Followed by our uh, area under the, core, the, the precision recall curve and, and the area or, uh, under the curve, ROC curve. 
the results uh, also show that the number of instances deleted from the dataset uh, affects affects the stability of the uh, of the future ranking techniques. The results were uh, supported by uh, ANOVA and Toki's uh, honestly significant difference test. The fewer instances removed from a given dataset, uh, the less selected features uh, will change when compared to the original dataset. And the feature ranking performed on this dataset will be more stable. So these are the references. Uh, any questions, any questions you have, you can uh, ask the question through the microphone and I, I will happily uh, answer them and uh, email it to the professor and he will share it to the class. Thank you for listening.